Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Itzel and today I will be talking to you about República Mutante by Jaime Alfonso Sandoval. He is a Mexican author and he writes the most of the time young adult literature or in Spanish literatura juvenil. In this really short novel, just see this, uh, we have as a main character uh, the family, the Topete family, and they are not so convenient for the society in Mexico City. They don't fit well. And because, for example, of the father, he has like this scientific complex, wants to fit everything and is always thinking and creating new things, but at the end of the day, it doesn't work well. The mother is always telling her, him, to not do that things because it's too crazy, she doesn't want all of, her, of him events, etc. The daughter, it's, uh, she has an obsession with mother and death, and the son that is the narrator of the story has a collection of scraps. You know when you fall out and you have a scrap, he collects that. So even though they try to fit in the society to act like normal, to have a normal life, it's because the main of the time of the father that doesn't want to have like a normal job. He is like just two weeks in one work and gets fired and they don't fit well in the society, they are almost like poor, they don't have uh, sometimes uh, money for the food, for school, something like that. So, one day, the father is uh, talking with a co-worker in a supermarket because they are like these, um, like these characters that are dancing in the supermarket to make fun of them. And the co-worker told him about Pangea, and Pangea is a project, a secret project, about a new country. And he and the co-worker gives him uh, like all the information. So all the family together uh, goes to Pangea, and right there in Pangea they have to create a new uh, society. There's no buildings. So they have to create everything, but Pangea has its secrets and that's the fun part of this. All the things that they discover when they are in Pangea. It's really funny to see that. Now let's talk about um, like all these points in the novel. The characters. I think that the mom, the daughter and the son are well done. They are like realistic characters in their fictional like you can feel that they uh, have like uh, logic in their story but the father the father feels almost like a cartoon it's too um, unrealistic it's too optimist that you can feel like it's a well done character so the only character I don't that I think that is not well done well built is the father. The rest of the characters, I think they are well done, they worked uh, really well in the novel except for the father. Then, the story. The story is really funny, all the things that happens to the family. Uh, they are too funny because if you have already read or watched, um, I don't know, movies or TV series from Mexico, you can know like, uh, or humor, like the Mexican humor, has a lot of bad words and is always making fun of others. The author has a style where you is all you are always laughing, but you are not mocking about others. It's a intelligent Mexican humor, so that's why I like a lot of about the story, how it's written and built. But there's a thing that I don't like. It's because I have already. Uh, read two books from the same author. This is La Ciudad de las Esfinges, uh, Operativo Nini. I think that like, he has a recipe for written books. It's like you have a recipe for making cake, and in this one you have cake and you add chocolate, and in this one you add, I don't know, strawberries, and in this one you add, like, I don't know, coffee. It feels like it's well done, but it feels like repetitive. If you read just one book from this author, you say, oh, it's a well out, it's a good author, I like. But if you read like all, this, uh, all of these three books together at the same time, 
you're gonna notice that it's repetitive, the characters are almost like the same, the construction, like the narrative, how the events are linked from each other, you're gonna notice that, so what? that's what I don't like about the story. Apart from that, it's funny, it's interesting, because the, this author is always talking about society problems, like poor children, women, uh, violence against animals, so that's what I like um, also about this author, but this repetitive recipe he has, I, I'm thinking that I want to read one book about uh, from him again, but apart from that, I think he's uh, really recommend. If you are starting with Spanish, or if you are like in the middle level of Spanish, you can read this with any problem, because it's easy. It's, uh, I have read this book like in two days, so it's, um, you read that really fast, so it's that really important. I recommend you this, to read one book, only one book from this author, but if you read like all the books from this author, it's a little bit repetitive, but at the end of the day, I recommend you this book. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed. In the description box below, I will be leaving all the links from my social media profile so you can follow me. You know, I always talk about books, especially from the Spanish author, if you want to know more about that. And I see you in the next video. Bye!